For the next question, we've temporarily turned off the charged plates which accelerate the beam, and I've actually turned on the lights so we can make an observation of the compass here. Uh, so there's no beam there, but you have to take my word for it since you couldn't see it with the full lights on anyway. However, the filament is still glowing. I don't know if we can, no, I guess we can't get that from this high camera angle. Filament's still glowing, so I still have electrons in that region. Uh, but we want to observe what happens when we turn on the power supply that's connected to these large metal coils that surround there. So, first of all, here's a compass showing me the direction of the magnetic field in this region and north points sort of back toward the camera. And even if I put this compass in that region of the uh, inside those Helmholtz coils, uh, still pointing the same way, which is telling me I haven't yet made a magnetic field in that region. Well, let's go ahead and power on those Helmholtz coils. Um, and the system says we can put anywhere up to three and a half amps in them. So I have no idea what level is good for this. We'll just go to roughly an amp and a half. Again, uh, actually, now you can see uh, the magnetic field out here has changed, which is telling us there's some evidence that these coils are creating a magnetic field. And if I go inside the coils, the magnetic field relatively is uniformly facing away from us so that we're near the south end of a magnetic field that's being created here and the far part over here, it would be the north end uh, of that magnetic field. So using these Helmholtz coils, uh, we create a pretty uniform magnetic field in that region. And this is the magnetic equivalent of a parallel plate capacitor, which produces a uh, uniform electric field in that region.